Hello friends, this video on differential equation part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 13. So let's solve this. So if I have a function of this form dy by dx equal to f of z, where this guy is a homogeneous, this guy fxy is a homogeneous function of degree 0. So I can write this guy as g by by x, correct? Because if this guy is of uh, uh, zero, 0 degree, I can write this guy as g by by x. So to solve such kind of equation, what we do is we substitute y is equal to vx. Please note dy by dx is equal to g by by x. Then we say y is equal to vx. You see y is equal to vx, what you get is here dy by dx as v constant right dx by dx is 1 plus dv by dx into dx. this is what you get and dy by dx is always equal to g by x we know this so i can say that is equal to g of y by x correct dy by dx and y by x is v so we can say this thing about g by v so the equation we get is v plus x dp by dx is equal to g. Why? Because y is equal to dv uh, v into x, dy by dx is this guy, and this whole but dy by dx is also equal to g by by x. Since y is all gone, so instead of y by x, I'll just write g, gv. So this is equal to dy by dx, and dy by dx is gv, right? So this is the equation I get. So solving this is simple now. So what you get is x dv by dx is equal to gv minus v. So if you see this equation turns out to be dv by gv minus v is equal to dx by x and then you integrate both sides right and then you get solution then in the solution you replace v by y by x and that's how you solve the question. So if you have a uh, homogeneous equation of this kind of time d by d is equal to g by by x form right it is a homogeneous differential equation we can solve it by putting y is equal to vx so till now what we have the the first thing we saw was if we have equation of this form f of x into g of x right so g of y actually then we used to say d by by g y is equal to dx fx we say integration that was one type and this guy is another type this guy is a homogeneous differential equation of this time g y by x form so what we are writing we are, we are saying y by x is equal to v here in this case and then we are solving this question similarly here it is dy by dx is equal to g y by x if you get dx y by dy is equal to d y by x right in that case we replace x is equal to v y same thing here we will get dx by dy here I'll differentiate with respect to y is equal to v dy by dy is 1 and to dv by dy into y and dy by dx is f of uh, xy that is g of yx that is g of v also because v is v is, uh, v is x by y sorry 1 by v g of 1 by v because 1 by v is x by y this I can write as anything but g of 1 by v. So what I get is v plus dv by dy into y is equal to g of 1 by v. You solve this further, you get dv by g of 1 by v minus v is equal to dy by y. You integrate both sides, you get the answer and then replace v, v with x by y and then you get the answer. So these are the two different approach for uh, or two different ways to solve this kind of questions where you have dy by dx is equal to gy by x form or dx by dy or g by by x form. Correct. And this kind of equation is called homogeneous differential equation. So let's take some example. So we are told that dy by dx is equal to x square plus y square by x square plus x square. Correct. So 
So first we have to check whether it is a homogeneous, sorry, yeah, homogeneous differential equation or not. So if you see, this guy is actually a homogeneous differential equation of degree zero. Because if I assume my fxy is equal to x square plus y square by x square plus xy, and then f of lambda x, lambda y will be lambda square x square, lambda square y square, lambda square x square, lambda x, lambda y. You take lambda square common, you get x square plus y square by x square plus x square. And there is nothing but f of x y. Right? So the, there is a zero power, zero power equation. If you say f of lambda x lambda y is equal to f of so you can say that this guy is a homogeneous equation, a homogeneous differential equation. So to solve such an equation, we told that we can have to put y is equal to vx, and then we also get equation dy by dx is equal to v dx by dx1 plus dp by dx into x. So we'll replace this guy with this dy by dx. So v plus x dp by dx is equal to x square y is equal to vx so i'll say v square x square plus x square plus x into vx why i'm doing this with this if you see my life will become simple this becomes x square common 1 plus v square here also x square common 1 plus v so this becomes 1 plus v square by 1 plus v right so what do you get x dv by dx is nothing but 1 plus v square by 1 plus v minus v that is 1 plus v common 1 plus v square minus v minus v square right this is cancel you get 1 minus v by 1 plus v then you can do solve simply this becomes 1 minus v this becomes 1 plus v right is equal to dx by x you integrate both sides integration is simple now Right, this I can write as 2 by 1 minus v minus 1. Right, this becomes 2 minus 1 plus v. Yeah, yeah. This dv integration is dx by x, that is x, sorry, log x plus in constant. If you uh, differentiate, indicate this further, you get this guy is minus 2 log 1 minus v minus v is equal to log x plus c correct or if you write v v will come out to be all right somewhere here so v is nothing but if you see minus 2 log 1 by v minus log x plus c correct so you put v is equal to y by x now it's the time to put v is equal to y by x because we almost got a solution so we'll say y by x is equal to minus 2 log 1 minus y by x minus log x plus c right so this you get i think is equal to log of right you see you put uh, c is equal to log k actually so because everything is log so this becomes k by 1 minus y by x square into x this is y by x correct so with this, I can say that e to the power y is equal to this guy. So where should I write in this space? So let me write right here. I'll get this, I'll put, uh, remove log, I'll get e to the power y by x is equal to k by 1 minus y by x square into x. This becomes x square minus y square and this gets cancelled actually. Correct. So you get x minus y square and you get final solution as 
x or this is the answer actually we can say this is the answer so or you can solve this way also you can make it x minus y square this is cancel right or you can see like this x minus y square and this is x square it will cancel right so this is x minus y square by x square it's cancel you get x here x is you can put here so that's what you get so you get this value actually or you can see that x minus y square is equal to x k into u by y by Anyway, you can stop here. So that, that's how it is. So what we have done is we have put y is equal to vx. Correct? In solve the questions. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.